Hello and welcome back, it's Puzzle Time with Sudoku Sleuth and today we're going to be playing Modular Lots. So to try and sort of represent this, obviously when you hear the word lots, at least in my case, I certainly think of parking lot and um, essentially we have a modular parking lot here where seemingly it seems you can only park cars that are blue, yellow or red. And um, if you keep in mind these colors, I'm sure it will make a little bit of sense as we take a look at today's grid and today's puzzle. Now, one thing I want to mention about today's puzzle before we get stuck into it. So this is featuring a brand new rule set. And I think this is, let me just double check. The puzzle introduces a new lot constraint inspired by lots invented by 99% Sneaky. So that is correct to say that it is introducing a new constraint. Uh, now, I'm always a little bit hesitant when I'm doing so with a two-star difficulty rated puzzle, so clearly brand new logic that we need to apply in new ways uh, to see if it can make any sense. Well, let's take a look, although I am approaching with a little bit of hesitation. So we've got Modular Lots by Heliopolis, and yeah, I think you can almost sort of see like as if it's a racing track here to some degree. So, you know, thinking about cars is not necessarily a million miles away. Rules wise, though. So we've got Sudoku rules. Thankfully, that's there. That means place the digits one to nine once each in every row, column and three by three box. Then we have the modular lots. So a digit in the teal circle. I'm assuming that's because you know, these are the only circles that we have. So... They don't really look like teal to me, more like light blue, but we'll go with it. Belongs to a modular group. So 147, 258, or 369. Now the circle digit indicates how many digits from that modular group appear along the attached line. Interesting, okay. So for example, if row two, column seven, row two, column seven is a five, then there, is, there are five digits from the 258 group on the attached line. So this line here, this gigantic line, would have to have the digits, well, would have to have 258 three times, including the circled five. So there's actually only two more digits that are from 258 across this entire line. So certainly this huge line could actually be, be very restrictive. Then we have zipper lines. So digits an equal distance from the center of a hollow lavender line, sum to the same total. For odd length lines, the total is the digit between uh, place the line center and digits may repeat on the line if allowed by other rules. Is that really necessary? Because, you know, I've got a dot in here, which makes me think that this is the middle of the zipper line. Let me just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, that is the center. So the way to think about this is essentially this center digit will add up to a value. Whatever this value is, let's go with seven, for example. Any two digits that are the same distance away from the seven have to sum up to it. So that could be three, four, for example, that five in here, which is one, two, three, four, five away, would have to have one, two, three, four, five, and would have to have a two in here. So that's one example of the zipper line. Then we have German whispers. So adjacent digits on a green line must have a difference of at least five. So if this cell here was a two, uh, that's a bad example, and I've got pencil marks on, let me switch that off, then these, two neighboring digits on the German whisper line would have to be from seven, eight, or nine, so that it is five or more away. Remember with German whisper lines, you know, if this is an eight, for example, this would have to be one, two, three, four, except, I mean, the two is already in there, and you end up with this pattern of high digits, six, seven, eight, nine, low digits, one, two, three, four, and then a continuous oscillation between the two. I did not include the digit five in any of this, and if you have a think around it, you'll understand why. Digits placed on the purple lines, so that's the Remban, must be a non-repeating set of consecutive digits in any order. So if this cell here was a 2, for it to be consecutive and non-repeating, this would have to be 1 or 3, for example. Uh, that's a bad example because it's quite a short line, so... Um, and this is quite a long line, I don't really... 
let's let's assume it's a three cell line, just these three cells, forget the fact that it's joined. So that could be, for example, one, three in any order. That could also be, you know, four, two, three in that order. What it couldn't be is two, three, five, because that's no longer consecutive. And this particular Ramban, I mean, I could have two and two in here because normal Sudoku rules allows me to have the same digits in different boxes, rows and columns, but not on Rambans because it's a set of non-repeating set of consecutive digits. So that's all the rules that we have for today. Hopefully you're not as intimidated as I am and you're willing to give this a go. And uh, good luck. Link in the description down below as usual for you to do so. And with that said, I'm going to restart the clock and see how I get on. So I'll tell you what, I mean, I'm going to start with the circles, which is kind of a very odd way of doing this. But these in particular, column one, I think are from one, two, and three. You see, the line that's attached to them Yeah, I can already force a bunch of things in here. You see, the line that's attached to them is all in the same row. Same row, same row, same row. And therefore, these cells are a maximum of three. Because if you pick, if, you, if I say this is a three, for example, then essentially what it's saying is six and nine are also on this line. But that's the complete set of that group. There's no way I can add three, six, and nine anywhere else on that line, given they're all on the same row. You know, Sudoku rules would break. So that is not a three. Uh, sorry, that could be a three, but that these are all one, twos, and threes. Now, pretty sure this can't be a three. If that's a three, then how would I fit three, six, and nine on here? In fact, can't even be a two. If that's a two, this would have to be five and eight, and it would also have to be consecutive with the two on this Ramban. So that's not gonna happen. That's one, neither of these now are one. Now, if this is a two, then I would have to have five or eight on here. So if it's a five, I guess I could do five, seven. That would actually work, two plus five, because that's another zipper line, so that's two and five adds up to seven, and that is two occurrences. Presumably I could also do two, five, and three. Um, could I do eight? I think I could do eight. So two with an eight in here and a six in there, and clearly I can't have an eight and a two with a 10 in the middle, so that's not gonna work. Uh, I was kind of hoping this is going to be a little bit easier. And then the two, three on the German whisper. I mean, it does give me polarity. So, I mean, we'll give it that. So that these are blue. These are red. So blue being one, two, three, four. Red being six, seven, eight, nine. This clearly can't be a six because they both can't be ones. So that's at least seven, eight, nine. Uh, this could be any of six, seven, eight, nine. So not as interesting. Right, let's think about the Ramban, because this is a six cell Ramban. We've got three digits in here and three in the next box. So if we, pardon me, that's just my dog deciding that this is the best place to take comfort on. So she's scratching it, making sure it's hers and then uh, resting for a bit. Right, um, going back to this. So if this is a one, that breaks. So let's think about what essentially this is saying. This could be one, two, three, four, five, six, if that's one. Key thing is it includes a four, and then one and four would have to be somewhere on this line, and then that breaks this, this circle, basically. Now, if it is a two, uh, that's quite easy because the two and five would have to be on there. So I could do one, two, three, four, five, six, or I could do two, three, four, five, six, seven. And both of these have two and five. So two is solid. Now I'm pretty sure three doesn't work because I'm not going to be able to get three, six, and nine on here because the maximum on a three, on a six cell line is three, four, five, six. Sorry, three, four, five, yeah, six, seven, eight. No nine, that's six digits. And then one, two, nine are the remaining digits. So that can't be a three. This has to be a two. 
which and I'm not paying attention. I'm so sorry. One on a Remban, that's a two, that's a three, that's a two. Sleuth, come on. Can't have a five on a German whisper line. So of the modular group 258, one of these has to be an eight for sure. And then I have to have three, six, and nine on here for this to be satisfied. So that's a nine, that's a six. <coughs> wakey, wakey. Now, this is either, let me just double check this, it's either two, three, four, five, six, seven, or one, two, three, four, five, six, based on that two on this six cell remba. So the digits that are outside are either one, eight, nine, or seven, eight, nine. So what I have in here is one, seven, eight, nine, with a definite eight and nine. Uh, a trick about zipper lines is a nine can never be on a zipper line. Um, if it is, well, on a single digit zipper line. Um, single digit? Odd digit, sort of odd length zipper line, because it means that the center digit is a single digit on the Sudoku grid, and therefore this nine plus whatever it is, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, plus whatever we put in here, will have to add up to whatever's in there, and that can't be bigger than nine. So no nine in here. But one, seven, and eight are all potentially allowed. One is way too small. I can't have even double one. So that's, that's this is never a one. It could be seven, eight, or nine. We clearly are going to have to do a bit of thinking about this um, modular lot and how many potentials we actually have in here. So brace yourselves. Right, so, sorry, let, let me lose these. I don't need them anymore. Uh, these, however, are interesting. This is one, three. It can't be a four, otherwise it would be a double nine. In fact, this is not a nine because there's a nine right above it. So this is one or three. Right, these are, surprisingly, one, three, one, two, three, or four. But let me walk you through the logic. The maximum any one of these could have on the line in the same box is three. Because essentially, let's pick three for example, then I could put six and nine somewhere on here, on this line in the same box. So that's three. But then there is a four and a five that I could have outside of the box that could be from the same modular group. So this essentially is saying that these three circles could be from one, two, three, four, five. Uh, no fives on a German whisper line. No twos in the column on here. So this is one, three, four. And I am going to color this German whisper line as normal. So that gives me polarity. One, three, four. This is clearly not a four because that would require a double nine. So this is one, two, three. So one of these is a four and therefore one of these is a nine. Interesting. You can see that the minimum I can make here is one, three. So this is at least eight or nine. Uh, this sees two cells in the same box, so this is at least seven, eight, or nine. This sees different boxes, so that can actually be as low as six, so can that one. Right, so what do we need to do here? How am I going to limit this a bit? So the one digit that is definitely outside of this German whisper line is the five. There is no five on any of this, let me put it that way. And the two, as a result, the absolute best I can do, if it's in the circle, would be two, eight, and then another eight somewhere in here. I think I'm going to have to really think about the options for a second. So if there is a four, because this is not a seven, that would have to... If, yeah, the four is definitely in the circle. Yeah, uh, this is definitely it. The four is in the circle because that can't be a four on the German whisper line. Otherwise, that would be a double nine. The fact that there is a four means that one and seven have to be on this German whisper line plus another one, four, seven outside of the box. And this can't be a seven. So this has to be one or four. But if it is a four, that would be a double nine. That's not going to work. That's a one. That's not a one. 
and therefore the six is one of these two cells. Well, potentially a six, it doesn't have to be a six. So let me just think this through. So essentially we've got an eight or nine, six, nine, sorry, having a bit of a moment here. Let me just, again, think this through. So the four, so essentially I've got one, four, seven, and a one. Now, one option is that this is a two in here. The one can't be in the circles. Yeah, way simpler than what I was going to try and do working through all the options. If any of these are a one, what that's saying is that there are only one, which includes the circle. So this is it. There are no more ones, fours or seven anywhere else on this line, which we know is not true. We've got a four and we've got a one. The fact that we have a four was obviously the, the thing that I needed to pay attention to. I can't have a one in the circle. So no ones, three, four pair means this is a two, this is a one, that is potentially a six. This is at least an eight or nine because that's a three or four. The fact that this is different digits, that is definitely a nine. Now the three and the nine is two of them. Why potentially have a six, nine in here? So this is essentially five, six, or nine, isn't it? I may be jumping a bit too quickly there, so I probably need to explain it. Let me just, right, so the two has to have an eight, and that's it. We only have one eight, which is inside the box. That's obvious. Yeah, 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 that, that's, that's better. Right, the three and the nine are two of them, of the modular group three, six, nine. Three, six, nine. Now, one of these is going to be six or nine because I've got three digits. I can't have them both, you know, all three of them be from seven and eight. So there's another six, nine between these three cells, which means I've already maxed out the three modules. So this has to be five, six or nine. And whichever one is not on here. So, for example, I could have eight, six, seven, and then that would force a nine. There's obviously another potential, which is nine, and then like seven, eight, and there's six in here. So that all works. What it doesn't do is give me what any of these digits actually are. Hmm. I need to have a seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one of these is a seven because it's um, we needed the one, four, seven, and then another one as well. So one of these is definitely a seven. Well, I mean, Sudoku says it is one of them is a seven. The fact that this could be six or seven, that could be as low as six is frustrating. I was really hoping we're going to have to avoid having to think a lot about this massive line, but I don't see a way around it. We can do a bit of Sudoku in the meantime to kind of lie to ourselves that we don't have to do this. Actually, what is the missing digit that we said is on here? So we said this could be, let me just think about this. I said this could be, this can no longer be one, two, three, four, five, six, because there is a one in the same box. So the two is the absolute minimum. And the rest of this is three, four, five, six, seven. So no sevens in here. This is one, eight, nine that's outside there. And obviously no sixes in here. No threes either. This is a three, six pair. And this is four, five, seven. And that gives me another digit up here. It's an eight. You definitely have to work for every digit. Not too sure where to go next, other than this gigantic line. Can I? How can I avoid it? And I don't need the um, corner digits anymore. This is eight or nine. That can't be nine. 
so good, right? Can it not be? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can be nine. Oh, that's that's real shit. No, it can't be. It can't be. Right. Right. Let me illustrate to you, illustrate this to you with a counter example. Let's assume for a second that this is nine. Now, what that's saying is, in every column where this purple line exists, I need to have the digits three, six, and nine on there. Now, I've got a nine in here. Let's just, for the sake of argument, pretend that this is three, six. Now, for this part of the line, in this column, I can't have a nine. I've, I've already touched this on this earlier. Whatever the nine is, it's going to have to add up with a zero to be able to get to a nine. So there is no nines anywhere else on this zipper line other than this cell. So count with me. This is three, six, nine. That's three. Another three, another six. That's five. Another three, another six. That's seven. Now, initially I thought, well, I can stuff in a three, six in here. But no, I can't because that would break this cell. And obviously I can't have a nine for the same reason that we just covered. So a long way of saying, this is an eight, this is a one, this is a nine, and we at least know what this zipper line is adding up to. And therefore this one is a seven, seven, and uh, yeah, that's a nice conclusion. So one thing that, um, I'm so sorry if I'm going to give credit to the wrong individual, but I think it was Megan or Double Three that suggested it. When you have such a large line, it's sort of very difficult to keep track of which pairs are meant to add up to an eight. So one thing that you could do is essentially color them in pairs so you don't run out of colors. So these purples are these two purples. This is the green. I'm just going to avoid blue and red for a moment. Uh, and therefore, these two cells are green. Uh, these two cells, I'm going to go with yellow, yellow, and then, I don't know, orange and orange. And I don't really need to color these two. So I'm kind of wondering, should we be thinking about these circles? Let's be fair. We don't have exactly many options other than to think a little bit harder about these circles. So although... Here is something. Um, I did say the zipper line doesn't have a nine on it, but take a look at sort of what we have in box nine. So no nines, no nines, no nines, no nines. Sudoku says no nines. Nine is down here, which takes nine out of both of these. Not exactly helpful because that could still be a nine. That would be a five. And of course that could be a nine. So it doesn't actually resolve my five, six, nine dilemma particularly. Okay. Um, the other thing that I was to say is essentially everywhere where the zipper line is quite heavy, I cannot have eight or nine on it. So nines cannot be on any of these cells. Nine is essentially in those three. Eight cannot be in any of these cells either. Eight is in one of these four. Eight is one of these three. That's more interesting. In fact, one of these two. That's probably worthwhile pencil marking. I'm really keen to avoid having to think about these circles. Because essentially, I've proven that the maximum is eight on here. And therefore, the rest of this, the digits, the maximum is seven. And the thing is, once you remove, once you're not trying to place this nine in the circle, or three or six for that matter, actually, I can easily accommodate, no, two, because I can't have nine. Let me just think about this for a second. So of the three modular lines, so one, four, and seven, two, five, and eight, three, six, and nine. Now I said eight and nine cannot be anywhere on the zipper line. So in fact, 
the two and five, I can only ever have a maximum of two in the same column of this line. And it does restrict it somewhat. So what I really want to do is be able to figure out what these two cells are to see if it can remove options for these circles. Well, I think before we do that, we probably owe ourselves to think about this Remban maybe first that may help us. Now let's do that. So this Remban, which is five cells long, has to have a five on it. And depending on what other digits it also has, for example, I can't have a one. So if you think, if you see the ones, just normal Sudoku eliminates one from every all of these. One is eliminated from all of these. That would have to be a one. Now I challenge you to put a two on this Remban since it has to be a one, two, three, four, five Remban. Well, twos have eliminated all of these. So no ones. And this is the only cell that could be a two. And obviously no one. So could it be two, three, four, five? Three and four can't be here. Well, of the options for three, this would have to be the three. This would have to be the four, because these can't be three, four. And then this would have to be five, six. So sadly, this could work. Then that would be five. That would be six. And all of that, and this would be nine. So that is achievable. Certainly appears to be. This would be, sorry, I, what did I say? Five, six, that would be nine. That would be eight. That would be four. No, it's not achievable. Two, three, four. Just because of this three, it forces this to be a four, this to be a three, which forces this to be a four, which forces this to be a nine. And then this cell with five, six, and nine pointed at it can't be any of them. So that can't be, it cannot have a two either. Okay, so are we really gonna steadily go through the options in here? Removing ones, twos, threes, fours, etc. Not sure we have much of a choice if I'm honest. So one and two are off. Three and, f I mean, I'm guessing I could probably do three, four. I mean, three, four, so these two could be three. These three could be four, and then five, six, seven, and that definitely seems achievable. But the thing is, now I'm, you know, I'm definitely putting five, six, and seven on this Remban somewhere. But I'm not putting a two on it anywhere. So two in box seven can't be on the Remban. That's a two. You know, celebrate every milestone. And therefore, no ones. So ones is one of these two cells and one of these two cells in box four. Sadly, three seems achievable. So I'm not sure I can eliminate anything just yet. Can I do the reverse though? Can I eliminate nine? So nines are not in any of these. If there is a nine in here, what are the implications? I'm not sure this could be a one actually. I did say one of these have to be an eight for the circle to be valid. No, what's wrong with one? Nothing's wrong with one. You could have an eight next to a one. Ignore that. So if there is a nine, then I need five, six, seven, eight on here. And that's quite easy to achieve. One, two, three, four. No eight, so actually eight is in here because eight is not up there. And six, no, because this could be a six. Six is one of these four cells, so that's less helpful. Much less helpful. Two is on these purple lines, which makes just Sudoku, eliminates everywhere in box five, has to be on here, which means this has to include a six. 
Now maybe this is the right way to think about this. Can I put any more digits on here? Very tricky. So I said, if this is three, it really does feel like it can't be that low inside the circles. But the thing is, I could, I really see that you can get away with quite a bit. Because, I mean, we've got essentially two digits that are not on here. This is not three, six or nine. So essentially I've got two digits in this zipper line that are from different modules. So one and seven are already on the line. So the circles can definitely not include a one because there is at least two of them already on here. Can I do two inside any of these circles is a question because that would be the eight and then I wouldn't be allowed two, five or eight anywhere and that's a no because I've already got another two in here. So these are not ones, twos. This is not a three either. Yeah, this is starting to look somewhat interesting. So this is four, five or seven. It can't be one, we've shown one, it can't be two, it's not three, it could be four, it could be five, it's not six, seven, eight or nine. Right, could we keep removing more? I think the answer to that is probably yes. Let's think about this for a second. So if this is a four, that would be another four to be able to add up to eight. And then essentially I would have one, four, four, and seven. That's essentially no more ones, fours, or sevens anywhere in here. And I think that's a very difficult thing to pull off. Ye kind of. That would have to be, so that would be a nine, one pair. That would be eight. So the, and in here I would have to have eight, nine, one, four, seven. That's achievable. And then that would be seven. And then this cannot include one, four or seven, which is also achievable. So actually four is doable, sadly. Just, like highly unlikely, but just. Twenty seven minutes. Time is just flying by. So four five seven, four five seven, four five seven, and a one three. The fact that this could be a three is frustrating. Otherwise it would be one five one and three up there, and this would be from four five seven. Six seven eight nine. Three is up here, which would require, or to add up to eight, would require a five in one of these three cells. So cross boxes, I'm not sure I want to do that. All right, let, let's do a bit of Sudoku. Usually that's why I get stuck. Two is in one of two cells. If that's a two, that would be six, entirely doable. And if that's a two, well, they're no longer fours. We've done ones, twos, threes. And the only other thing that's available is sixes. So six has to be up here, where it would have to be joined with a two between these three cells. Right. Three, six, and nine. Maybe it's worthwhile starting to keep a running count of what's on the line and what isn't. I, I will do this. I, I really dislike doing it, but I will do it. In that, actually, hang on, two is one of these three cells.
that if that's a two, sorry, just Sudoku. If that's a two, this would have to be a six, which is not an option. So that's not a two. If that is a two, that would have to be a six, which is an option. If that's two, I'd end up with a two six pair and a two six pair in here, which is doable. I don't see the problem. If that's two though, specifically that would be six. Not sure I see the problem. We've done one, two, three, six. We've done the Sudokus in here. The twos we've used. Nines we've used. The nine forced in here. Right, so I am, I've done all I can for now, unless I'm missing something, which is often the case to be fair that I am going to have to go through the painful process of thinking about this entirety of this modular lot and keep a record of how many digits and what digits are on there. So from one, four and seven, we've definitely got two of them at the moment. From two, five and eight, we've actually got two eight and there was a five on here because of the threes so i can't have a two inside the circles but i've already removed it um how am i going to do this i'm going to keep a running count in here so i've already got what was it two eight and a five so i'm already at three of these and then from three six nine I've got three and six in here. I've got a six in there. Hang on, I've got another two, 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 five and eight. I've actually got four. And then the three, six, nine, I've got two of them in here, a third in there, and I've got three. How many cells is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have, including the eight, 19. I've only got line of sight of nine of them. This is not gonna be very fruitful, if I'm honest. For example, could this be as high as seven? I think the answer to that is yes. I could have seven. One, seven, that seven, in fact, would add a one in here, and then that would break it. These two being circles, sleuth, that's the clue. These two being circles and adding up together to get to eight is the, is the clue. That can't be a seven, otherwise that would be a one, and the one in here is not allowed. Five, that would have to be a three, and then the three, we're already at three, and that would be the fourth. That wouldn't be allowed. So these are fours. That's a very hard to spot fours. But it also means that I am done with one, four, seven on this entire line. And this one in here means that this is a one, nine pair. This is an eight. And now I need to have off the line the digits one, four, seven, eight, and nine. No nines in here. In fact, this is not four, seven, or eight. This is one or nine. This is not eight or nine. And this is not one or four. This is phenomenal. Not sure I agree with the difficulty rating, by the way. Just saying. And because there are no more one, four, seven, so the one and seven, oh, the, the one and seven add up together, the fours add up together. So it doesn't actually knock out any two, five, eights or three, six, nines, unfortunately. The nine was never on, the eight was never on. So really the remaining digits are all from two, five, which is one modular group, and they pair up with three, six. But not that it matters because we've used the circles. Huh. A lot less exciting now, isn't it? No ones. One in here. 
that eight, I don't know if it's doing a huge amount for me, if I'm honest. Two with a six. And I did say this now becomes a seven because I can't put one, four and seven or eight and nine inside the line. So once this was done, this had to be a seven. I've already removed them from here. These are not sevens. That's a one, four pair that gives me a nine. That is seven, eight. That gives me a nine down here because that's a one. Fascinating puzzle for sure. And therefore, this has to be a 2, which means this has to be a 6. This is not a 6. So the 3, 6, the 6 would add up with a 2 in here. Or the 6 would add up with a 2 in here. And the 3 would add up with a 5. Yeah, so this is still all possible. But if we think about what these three cells are now, we're in box 6. This is quite restricted now. In fact, no 6 in here. These are quite restricted. We've placed everything except for two, five, two, three, and five, isn't it? That's not a two. So this three, five, which corresponds to this one, has to be three, five. That's correct. And then this two, three, five, in fact, the rest of this is also known, isn't it? This is three, six, five, two, three, six, two, three, five would mean that this is three, six, five. 3 with a 5, 5 with a 3, 6 with a 2, yep. Don't know what these are. These are... I mean, they're 2, 3, 5, 6, so... Other than these being 2, and the 6 being here. Where is... What, 6 is in here because 2 is in there, because of Sudoku which means six, where is six in column eight? That's the only place for a six, that's in here. So that's not a six, that is another three, five, which means this six is now a two, that's not a two, that is a two, and therefore this is a six, then we needed a six, this had to be a, no, what did I do, what did I do? Yes, I did this the wrong way around. That's better. Thank you. Two and six, two and six, yeah. And this yellow one has to be another three, five. And this is another three, five, and that's not a two. Yes, that's three, five. You know, I wouldn't have really guessed that this is the way to, to sort of like that. I would have really thought that this is going to be towards the end of the puzzle that we needed to solve this. It ends up being halfway through. But let me know in the comments if I've just gone off piste a bit and I didn't need to do this at all. I mean, I'm sure I, you needed to do it at some point. It's just now seems quite odd. And this is 479, not a 4 with a 3 4 pair. This is the remaining 5 8 in the row. And I don't have anything in here that seems to actually resolve any of these. That 6 is interesting though. That is not a 6. 7 8 9 triplet. This is a 5 6 pair. This is not a nine. Sorry, one second. One moment. All right, sorry about that. Um, I don't know, long story short, where I live, people seem to currently park in my driveway all the time. So I usually just park behind them and make it very difficult for them to come out. Anyhow, um, where was I? Five, six, one of these is seven. Not sure I can solve any of these right now. Six gives me a three, gives me a six. Six gives me a five, gives me a six. I need to have a six on this line, can't, don't I? So no sixes, no sixes. That's the only place for a six. I should lose these before I use them incorrectly. Five gave me a three, a four, a three. This is now seven or eight. That's seven and eight, seven and eight pair in the column. That's not a seven. So I needed five. So what were my options? I had all the way up to three. Um, three, I think, is now quite difficult. 
don't know if I need to go down this route again. It'll be quite a lot of thinking for relatively modest return. So maybe I can see if I can skip it for now and just do, can't believe I'm going to say this, easy Sudoku. Three can't be here. Three now has to be there, which I think means we have to have a four. So that's the four because it's not four. Then I need to have five and seven. Sorry about this again. Right, sorry about this. Three, four, I need five, six, seven, don't I? So this has to be five, seven now, which gives me an eight, which gives me a seven. The seven forces this to be a one. Four, one. Three, I, I've stopped using these. I should have carried on. Five, three, five, three. That's this entirety done. These two cells now are three and nine. Five, seven gives me a digit in here, which is a four. Five gives me an eight, a five, a four. No nines in here, that's a seven, eight pair. That's a nine. Both work actually, either way. So no resolution yet. Seven, eight in here. That four gave me a five. That four gave me a five in here. No fives. That's a four, seven pair. Five, seven gave me a nine and a seven in here. And we've very nearly got this now. So I need another four, seven somewhere in here. Plus a five. Seven gives me eight. That was a seven. That was an eight. That was a seven. These two cells are known. They are three and six. They are known. Six, three. Then I have another four, seven, plus an eight. How am I going to resolve these, actually? Oh, the four is there. Sorry. Just pay attention. That's a 5-7 pair. My Sudoku went a bit wonky there for a second. Sorry. 7 gave me a 4, gave me a 7, gave me a 5, gave me a 7, gave me a 5, gave me an 8, gave me a 7, gave me a 4, and then 8 and 9 for the finish. That's a stunning puzzle, Helioplex. I think just this part in particular, this zipper line, just how it actually flowed, just absolutely phenomenal. Um, genius. Hope that you guys enjoyed the puzzle in the video. And apologies, I'm going to have to run and sort out whatever's going on out there. Bye-bye for now.